Okay, this is a 2004 32 foot Sea Ray Sundancer. This one has the uh, highest engine option you could get on this boat with V Drive, which is the 6.2 liter uh, Merc Cruiser freshwater cooled engines. As we walk down the boat, you'll see it has a, a uh, stainless steel spotlight and windless anchor. If you look down the side, it's in perfect condition. It's very shiny. You've got a bow pad up here. You have a privacy screen that also will protect from the sun. It's nice because you can kind of still see through it, but it's hard for people to see in. New canvas. This is aftermarket canvas, very thick. And you have the covers and then the Isinglass windows beneath. Up top, we have a 24 mile uh, C80 Raymarine Ray Dome. And then we have a satellite television, gyro stabilized satellite television as well. As we come around, you'll see they've done a large custom camper and it comes out all the way to the edges of the boat. It's one of the largest um, camper canvases I've ever seen. And it has the real thick, very, very thick um, Isinglass on here. As we step aboard, you'll see they have a mounted gas grill that's removable. Large swim platform. And this is a very expensive and cool feature that someone has either added or ordered this boat with. And that is the Permatique flooring throughout the, uh, the whole cockpit area. Here we have a fresh water, hot and cold water shower. Um, more teak here. We have a, a refrigerator here with a small ice box. And you have your little wet bar area, trash storage down below. Here we have our wraparound seating area. It's very large. Um, it has cup holders here and here. And then you have an ice bucket here that can hold three bottles of wine or quite a bit of beer and it drains out the side of the boat. Um, this area here can be made into a layout area. There's a, a table, not this table, there's another table for this boat that goes down in there and then there's a cushion that goes on top. This table has been custom made and I really like it because it's kind of like a little cocktail table. It's very easy to get around where the other table you have to sit down and slide in. One of the best features of the 320, something that I actually like better than the 340, is this seating area here. You have room for two, possibly three small people, two large people, small. And they each have their own cup holders here and an area to set food and things here on the dash. At the helm, um, this would be the exact same helm chair as the 340, same size, shape, um, basically identical with storage underneath. Got a pretty high-end uh, VHF marine radio here, and you have your Clarion control for the stereo here. And uh, here is our C80 Ray Marine. I've got it on um, on uh, GPS with a radar overlay. It's also a uh, depth sounder, so if you want to do some fishing, this should click on. I may have to turn on an accessory, but I've been told that it does have a fish finder. Here at the helm, we have a tilting wheel. Uh, we have our Sea Ray vessel monitoring system, which covers a lot of the systems of the boat um, and will tell you, you know, if, even if you have a sump pump that is clogged, it'll let you know. And then this is your smart craft gauge. This will do engine telemetry. If you see here, this boat is very lightly used. It has only 116 hours on it. Analog gauges all look real good. Dash looks good. You have a power vent up here. Really, this boat is impeccably kept, and, and I think it's going to make someone a really happy new owner, whoever ends up with this. Okay, going down below, we have uh, custom carpet runners, thicker than normal, cherry wood interior, lots of storage. Here's your microwave here. Now this is something interesting that's been done on this boat. They've added this Fusion, this is a fairly recent deck. It has a radio, CD, or iPod. And uh, you open the face up and you can put a CD right in there and it's also Sirius ready. What's cool about this is that this is not in conjunction with the system to the outside of the boat. Um, it just handles the speakers in this area which are all around here. Um, and it sounds really good. I turned it on. It's very, 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 very... Uh, bassy and um, has quite a good sound to it. Here's your air conditioning controls here. Nice bed, V-berth bed with storage all the way around. And the table 
there's a table under here that goes into this area and um, you know makes this into a nice dining area also this couch pulls out and makes a bed large enough for two people back here we have our mid cabin berth and it has a built-in vacuum cleaner where the, where the inlet is there and you have a 110 volt plug there as well you also have a TV back here there's storage behind this seat here storage here and let's take a look at our panel we have a CD changer this is the Clarion deck that works the whole outside of the boat and it's also satellite ready and you can also hook in an iPod to that here's all your panel here then you have storage for like DVDs and things down here if you wanted to put a flat screen television in you could put it here uh, there is a television that goes here and it comes out and swivels towards the bed that's also a flat screen it's been taken out for um, some type of repair or replacement and should be back in next week here's our head nice large size porcelain vacuum flush toilet storage all above here we got a mirror and a porthole. All in all, it's a really well kept vessel. Let me show you the other side. Lots of shine. Alright, that's it. Hope you like it.